finally I put up a sign to indicate what's behind this door. Or at least these ghost blocks. Wait. Why the heck do I hear Disc 11 playing? Who the heck put this jukebox here? I certainly know I did not I think I just shit my pants. guys, Ian MC here with another Minecraft mob review. And as you can clearly see, this time around we're doing the Statues mod by Automatic Maiden. And this time around, since the recipes are kind of simple for this one, I'm going to not just go over them, I'm actually going to show you how to do them. And yeah, that's one of the main reasons I put a crafting table here in the labs. Okay, now, the first part we're going to need is a hammer. If I had a hammer, I would hammer in the morning. Um, sorry about that. Could resist. Anyway, the first part of the you're going to need to craft is a hammer, like I said. And to do that, you're going to need two sticks. And an iron ingot in a pattern like this. Which will get you a hammer. Next, you're going to need a pallet. I've got... Ten of each of the things you're going to need here, because I need ten pallets, so I'm going to be making a lot of statues during this video. I'm okay, I think I got them in the wrong order. There we go. Pallet number one. Pallet number two. Pallet number three. Pallet number four. Five, number six, number seven, number eight, nine, ten. And I should note that you can make these statues out of any material in the game. But there is one last crafting recipe I want to go over. It's only because, well, I don't want, really, as a completionist, I don't want to leave anything out. And this one is for a showcase. Now to make that, we're once again going to need two sticks, of course. This time the sticks go here. And two pieces of oak wood. And then finally you're going to stick three glass hangs, like this. And you'll get a showcase. Now since I don't need this oak wood anymore, I'm just gonna delete it. But I do need this birch wood, which is the material I will be making some of these statues out of. 
except for one which I will be using to TNT for. And one I'll be using to box of gold for. Okay. Now you're probably wondering to yourself, how do you use this mod? And you're probably not considering there are two other reviews of Automatic Maiden's mod here on YouTube. However, I'm going to be covering an aspect that those two people seem to have completely ignored. In fact, Automatic Maiden himself seems to be unaware of this little uh, part of the mod, since I don't see it mentioned on the forum post, which will be down in the description below. To make it, you just block... But anyway, first you got to block two blocks of any material together, one on top of the other. Then, with the hammer, you right-click, and you'll be taken to a GUI. Now, for, then you go down here, and then you enter any player's name. For starters, I think I'll enter my own name. And I hope my skin doesn't get me in trouble with DC Comics. I don't want to be slapped with a lawsuit once they see the uh, skin. If it does end up getting removed because of me having a copyrighted character as my skin, well... Sorry DC, you shouldn't have made me, made me like this character enough to make him my Minecraft skin. But anyway, this is a feature that has completely gotten ignored by both Thanks Sia and uh, Pat of Popular MMOs, aka Curious Destroyer. Because apparently, they had no clue what the uh, palette was for. Even though they do mention you have to make it. But this is a feature I only learned of through another mod review that... And please note, this is a feature I'm pretty sure those two have no idea exists. But anyway, you click down, you shift, and then right click. Which will color in the statue. Yeah. The statues those two made in their videos are not colored in. And like I said, I hope me having Beast Boy for a skin does not get me in trouble. But yeah, that is me. A statue of myself. And I might keep it here at the lab or make another statue of myself somewhere. Like, I don't know, maybe the front entrance. But, anyway, since I'm going to be making more statues, I'm going to continue it on, but this time mostly with fellow Minecraft YouTubers. So next up is Mr. Minecraft trolling himself. Zexy Zack. And I hope he doesn't mind me using his likeness in this video. But here he is. Zexy Zack. Oh, and there's another feature I want to go over very quick, very soon. With, and I might use it with the next guy. Next up will be three members of Team Crafted. Starting with Sunday. And once again, go to the palette, shift and right click. And yeah, I've noticed that Sunday seems to be derp Sunday right now. Wall. But like I said, that GUI, if you enter any player's name, you can make a statue of them. Of course, for that to actually happen, you actually have to know the YouTuber's Minecraft name. Because I should note that their Minecraft name is not always going to be the same as their YouTube name. And actually, 
I am going to get back to Team Crafted, but for right now, I am going to make statues of the two reviewers who also did reviews of this very same mod. but left out what you can do with the palette for some reason. First up is Thanks, Sia. And yeah, by the way, I should note that you can actually pose the statue. This is the arms. These are the legs. This is the body and this is the head. But I'm not good with that, so I'm just going to randomize it. Hopefully one of these makes it look like, it, well, you'll see what I'm going for. Pretty soon. thought that would work. There's gotta be one that has the pose I kind of am wanting for this. I don't see it. I think it might still be on Steve. I don't know. Unless the C in Thanks Sia isn't capitalized. I should note that capitalization actually matters when you're doing this. But yeah, none of these have the pose I'm kind of want to. Okay, except for that. That's kind of close to what I wanted. So let's shift, right click. And there's Thanks Sia. With his head in shame for not mentioning that you can color the statues in. Okay, his head's not really in shame, but it's close enough. And, and next up is Pat from Popular MMOs, who also did a review of this mod. And forgot to mention the palette. What did he think? That you just make random statues out of just random shit? Pat, I hate to break to you, but that would be just stupid. Same goes for you, thanks, Sia. No offense, I like you two guys, but... No offense, guys. What did you think the palette was for? Aesthetic purposes? And there's Pat. Head and shame. Because he forgot to bring this part of the uh, mod up. And you probably notice I have two more palettes. And yeah, there is a reason for that. This is part something, the reason I got the two TNT out. And I think you guys will get a kick out of this. And no, I'm not going to make Pat out of TNT like he did in the actual video. You'll see who I'm making a thing of very, very soon. Ladies and gentlemen, it's exploding TNT made out of TNT. <laughs> Which I consider to be kind of awesome in a way. <laughs> And next up, I'm going to be showing two other features afterwards. But first up, let me get a couple of things. Yeah, from these, I hope you don't guess who I'm making a statue of. If you have already guessed, don't tell the person next to you, please. I want them to continue to guess. Anyway, uh, next up, two blocks of gold. I'm calling it gold for right now. 
but I think you guys are going to get a kick out of this. Put the head up like that. Okay, it doesn't look right. I need something that looks kind of like a badass action pose. And that kind of works. If it wasn't for the legs. And that works. But anyway, you guys will see why I made it out of gold in a few minutes. Because you might get a kick out of this. It's Sky made of butter. And now we just color it in. Not sure why Sky is not wearing his infamous outfit but it doesn't really matter because I'm about to show something about this outfit that or about this mod that not many people well they're probably aware of it from the other reviews but I'm probably the first to use it with coloring but anyway you can actually fit them with armor and weapons which is why I've got all this butter attire because I want to put sky in it not only butter armor that just getting ready for something else okay but give him a butter sword now sky looks bad Okay, now the last part of the mod, and in one part, uh, one of the reasons I saw it, the guy who was reviewing it said, this doesn't this seem pointless. But not really. You plomp down the showcase you made, and then... I think it's glitching but yeah you should be able to see the diamond sword within the showcase here like I said I think it might be glitching I don't know if it is yeah but normally you're supposed to be able to see it within there it's a way to hold your items and put them off on display anyway that's it for this review of the statues mod if you like the mod, the link to download it is down below in the description. And please subscribe if you haven't already, and also leave a like if you actually like the video. This is Ian MC 